Um, all right, look, the function f is 2x minus 1. So 2x minus 1. But instead of x, I'm leaving a blank. In place of that x, I'm, su oh wait, wrong problem. I'm substituting the h function, which is x squared plus 1. So I threw the h function, x squared plus 1, in place of the 2x minus 1 for x. But what value am I plugging it in? Am I substituting for x? 7. So if you want to put it into one fluid cleanup, substitution, you first start, huh? No, go ahead. Oh, okay. Okay, no, so now, okay, so then let's solve it. Order of operations, parentheses. I'll, I'll do it separately to you guys. 49 plus 1, 50. So what, you get 99? 100, yeah, minus 1, 99. Okay, you get 99, so that is your output. So your input of 7 into the h function, and then whatever that output value is, I think it's 50. Then the 50 you plug into the f function for the 2x minus 1, and that's how you get your 99. Now, if you want to do it separately, you would take h of 7 first. But the h of x function is x squared plus 1. Oh, wait. I put an extra 1. That should be an x. So then if I want h of 7, 7 squared plus 1, it's just substitution. It is input, output. When you put this number in, what do you get out using correct order of operations? So 49 plus 1 is 50. And so that's what I plug in here. So what's the f function? The f of x function is 2x minus 1. So then f of 50 is 2, 50 minus 1, 100 minus 1, there's my 99. So I get the exact same answer. One is not better than the other. If you want to do it in pieces, like there's nothing wrong with it. It Does it take more work? It might look like it takes more writing, but if you accidentally make an error, above you end up writing more so you know just don't try and brush it just go at your like confident pace oh you got it right? oh i'm sorry yeah yeah oh yeah test it out all right i'll stop